Hi, I'm down in the dungeon here, and ever since I got this place, I've always wanted to upgrade the lights in here. There's actually two uh, ceiling lights in here, which are your double, your usual uh, double uh, fluoro lights, which I did actually um, try and put some lead ones in there. Focus, you bastard. There you go. Um, some lead, you know, just some old ones that I had lying around. They weren't particularly good, but I, I did try to put them in, and I found that only one of them actually worked. So I've got two of these... Uh, lights here in the, like a fix that come through the concrete uh, ceiling here so I can't actually access uh, the wiring in that metal roof there it's actually uh, it that just goes that metal is just uh, goes straight over the uh, concrete there and um, yeah I've always found it curious that only one of them worked but also I, I did know that there was a sensor light thing in here here it is here a sensor light uh, thing from a company called uh, Plugwise and they were like sensor lights and I was told when I bought the place that um yeah it did have like sensor lights in here or something so I figured that's got something uh to do with it so anyway uh, let's take a look at it because I, I got these things down just expecting to find a regular like just your regular you know uh, ground uh, lights and like neutral active and earth uh, basically coming through but I'm not I got this uh, looks like there's some sort of uh, wireless receiver dongle here and also there's multiple you can see those white wires there and they're actually coming through and I have absolutely no idea how this system works so I thought I'd take a look at it so when you come in the door here, we've just got, you know, the usual light switch here. And I've taken that off and there's nothing in it. There's just uh, the two wires going out, which uh, breaks the um, active going to the lights. So I don't know where those white wires are coming from. And I've got the other one, which is up here as well. So it's, it's doing the same. It's got the same business in it. Now, the other interesting thing is when I turn the switch on, hopefully... Uh, well, you may or may not hear it, but I'll try and listen closely. I'll try and amplify it in the edit, but you can hear two relays switch on. Ready? There it goes. There were two relays that switch on. So I think there's a relay inside that box up there, but it's not actually tied into the active, which is weird. Let me show you. Okay, so here's the weird convoluted arrangement sorry for the camera work didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it um this is a stealth unit so i presume it's a uh, wireless uh receiver and we've got two actives here okay look <laughs> two red wires oh sorry that's my uh, uh detector beeping and they're not actually connected anything uh trust me they're going straight through the hole in the bottom of this uh unit here and they're going up okay but there's also three white wires here. There's three white ones and there's two Earths. Okay, fair enough. There's two neutrals. But then again, I'm not familiar with uh, these types of uh, building installations. And there's two um, actives. So I don't know if that's normal. But anyway, <laughs> the two actives are just joined together. And they're actually active regardless of whether or not I have that switch turned off or on so you can see going into the normal terminal block inside here we've got the neutral and one of those white wires going off and then there's two white wires here spliced into this receiver unit here one of them's going back up there in fact no oh yeah and one's tied into this big um big tie um, <laughs> big just tie point there that has multiple white wires in it it's just nuts. And apart from that, like, you know, it's a standard uh, fluoro, uh, you know, ballast uh, tube that you'd, you know, you'd normally find. And of course I can put LEDs in there and it does actually work, but it only works for one of them. So I'm not sure if uh, there's additional, like, uh, no, they should both work. It should be in parallel, shouldn't they? 
And then here is this uh, detector unit. So it's got a per sensor here. It's got an ambient, looks like an ambient light sensor there. And that's what you'd expect. Uh, the battery's uh, dead. I haven't actually measured. Oh, actually, can I measure it? Not entirely sure if I have a multimeter down here or not. Yeah, that measures 1.7 volts. So that is a uh, dead ski because um, that is, that's going to be a lithium jobby. How do I bloody get it out of that holder? What the? Hang on. I think it's sl it does slide. Da -da. Hey, look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> it's actually really good. Aha, there you go. 3.6 volt lithium jobby. Um, yeah, okay, so that's no good. Obviously, that was never going to work. So, yeah, it's obviously some sort of like wireless uh, thing. Well, that's fine and dandy. Okay, great. But that doesn't explain like, is there like another control box somewhere that uh, like, what, what are those white wires? There's three white wires going to each one of these uh, light troughs. And if you're wondering how I actually get light in here without the lights being on, um, I do actually have some of my old uh, lab panels on the uh, walls up there. So there you go. There to, I mean, the contrast is absolutely horrible, but it lights it up okay. But I want uh, better like main lights in here because they're they're actually running off the uh, PowerPoint. They're not running on the uh, light circuit. And unfortunately, I can't just go and turn the light circuit off at the fuse box because I'd have to go turn off the entire underground car park, I believe. So like I can switch off the mains and like the power coming into here for the power points, um, but I can't do it for the lights. So to work safely on this thing, um, I, I can't really do it. I can't disconnect it. Look, if you follow the light circuit up, right, it just goes straight through the concrete up there, right, through this concrete penetrator here. And uh, same with the power. The power actually uh, comes in over here um, as well. So, so I have no idea where these white, um, white, three white wires are coming from. They're being pulled are they a standard thing in a building installation like this? Aha, uh -huh. well, there's a pro tip for you. Don't rely on your crusty memory. Um, <laughs> there's a red wire coming in and there's a white, well, a crusty old cream colored wire coming out. Um, so yeah, I thought my memory was that there were two red wires in there. Though I should have double checked. So I was going to presume that those two red wires there that I was uh, probing before, um, they're actually, they would, I, I guess that there's going to be an additional circuit there, which my guess would be that it's the power points. I don't know. I have no idea about building installations like this, but that'd be my guess is that they have like a supplementary what, or maybe it's an always on power for some emergency lighting thing or something perhaps. But what I'm going to go, oh, what I could do is I could actually switch off all of the power to this unit because I can't switch off the lights. Uh, to switch off the lights to this unit, I have to actually uh, switch off the whole car park, I believe, at the uh, fuse box. So yeah, that's not gonna work unless nobody's here on the weekend, but I can switch off just the power points to here. So I could try and do that. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up and probe again and um, probe the white wire. But why there's three white wires in each one? I'd expect two like one going in and then another one going out to the other light perhaps, but each one of these troughs has three white wires in it. Hmm. Right, so I've confirmed, I've got the power turned off, so I've confirmed that nothing is going to those white ones there and I've actually separated them up there. And yeah, there's nothing going to the white ones. So let me switch the lights on and we should get one of those active. Sure enough, bingo, we get that active. So, yep, okay, so the white wire, well, at least one of them um, is coming through, is the uh, active, well, it's, it's that one there, um, is the active wire. And, uh, yeah, so I presume, like, there's a relay in there, which is then switching through. So, yep, so this red wire here, this must be a separate circuit, maybe emergency lighting or maybe the PowerPoint. I don't see why I'd be switching to the PowerPoint. Yeah, probably permanent emergency lighting maybe and they have to pull the wires through was, I don't know. And here's the other one. It's also got, as you can see, three white wires. So 
why there's three in each of those, I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe can those familiar with, uh, you know, in commercial building wiring installations like this, let me know. Why would you have three white wires coming through? Is it daisy chain through to another? But these are the only lights in here, so I I don't know where they'd be daisy chain two, but why there'd be three on whites on both of them. I don't quite get it. Actually, right at this moment, I can't, I've got stuff running in here that I do not want to uh, switch off. So I'm not gonna do the test for those red wires where I switch off the GPO. Like I said, I think it's more likely that they're actually some sort of permanent emergency lighting power uh, would be my guess. So yeah, anyway, so I'm not gonna test that, but I don't really care because um, they're just separate. So I install a different light, it doesn't uh, matter. Those uh, wires just, yeah, you just keep them uh, taped together and well, something's beeping, what's beeping here? Oh, that was my meter. Anyway, um, yeah, so it looks like those whites are daisy chained through for some reason, but where they go in addition to this, there is a unit next door to mine, but where I've got independent uh, lighting and independent power, so don't understand that. Yeah, like I said, I don't even have, as far as I'm aware, I don't even have a separate lighting circuit in the fuse box for my unit. I believe it's wired into the uh, car park, because I mean that my dungeon here is under the ground. It's in a basement car park here, so yeah. Anyway, um, it's just, <laughs> first time I saw this, I went, this is weird, what the heck's going on here? But it's slowly starting to make sense. And these uh, plug wise uh, units, I was actually able to find like an old manual that just showed that, um, yeah, it's designed to go in series with a, a thing. And it does mention that it has a uh, Zigbee uh, wireless option. So this must be a Zigbee, um, you know, optional motion sensor thing for it. Um, that's part of the system, I guess. Interesting arrangement, huh? So, uh, <laughs> It was a bit puzzling when I first opened this, but I thought I'd just uh, just show you that. And uh, anyway, if you've got any ideas where the extra white wires bugger off to, then uh, leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, I think I've got it. Uh, I think I got it sorted. So it's <laughs> maybe lighting upgrade uh, in the future. But yeah, I just expected way simpler than that. And you expect the uh, two neutrals uh, and the two earths um, as well, because they've got to like terminate, they just use one to come in and one, you know, terminate daisy chain uh, to the next uh, light in the circuit. So yeah, you expect that. Um, wasn't expecting uh, three white wires and a couple of what I presume is like an emergency lighting uh, type power. So more investigation uh, required on that, but I won't do that right now. Anyway, interesting wiring for some lights, huh? Catch you next time.